Impression Friday, you guys. We're finally, I think, through the big four releases for summer. Um, although I didn't see one from Vogue now that I think about it. But either way, we are going to be taking a look at Fiber Moods' latest collection, which at this point has come out, what was it, two or three weeks ago? So it's not new, new, but I did not review them yet for First Impression Friday. So we're going to look at them today. Okay, so first things first, here are all the line drawings. Again, we're only going to look at the women's patterns not the little kids patterns and okay starting with the bloom skirt okay a bloom for every day of the week why ever not really you can never get enough of this paper bag skirt straight skirt features an elastic waist with adjustable ties so you know it fits perfectly i actually really like an elastic waist with ties because you can make the elastic like fitted but not snug and then tied the drawstring to make it snug that way on days that you're a little more inflamed more bloated you know you can tie it a little looser it makes it a little more adjustable without being constricting um okay so no need to get tight okay with bloom your dream skirt is ready in one two three consists of two pattern pieces no time to trace cut out and sew together ready set go Okay, structured fabrics, poplin and linen, and fabrics with fluid drape like rayon, rayon crepe, satin, tinsel are equally good options, but you don't have to limit yourself to wovens. You can also use knits. Okay, so basically any fabric under the sun is what they are telling us here. So as always, they have the really cool like artsy pictures. I just wanted to get a good look at the waistband. So it's actually like a pretty skimpy elastic. Am I right? Uh, I don't know. I was expecting something a little bit more substantial. This is like quarter inch elastic or something. But the ties are on both sides. So that's kind of an interesting little twist. There's one that's like a set. Yeah, I don't know about this. Um, it seems a little dinky. But I mean, I guess that's easy enough to adjust so there's that here's the sizing you don't need any notions other than the elastic and then us sizing so the elastic that you need 0 to 26 is the size range and here's your fabric requirements their size chart is somewhere in here. I remember it being pretty inclusive last time. I also remember, yeah, us having to go to plenty of different other links in order to um, get all of the information. So if you're looking for more information on any of these patterns, I think you have to download the instructions to get the size chart. So it was something really funky about it. But I remember it being pretty, pretty inclusive. Okay, so that's the bloom skirt. It also doesn't have the pricing here. Does it have it here? No. So you just have to, you know, keep clicking through to all these different, all these different things in order to um, find the information that you need. Oh, this one has actually a lot more pictures. Am I right? Yeah, this one does have a lot more pictures. Does this not have, hold on, mix and match sewing patterns. So shop sewing patterns, PDF patterns. Let's see what's in here in this folder. Does it have it sorted by release? No, it doesn't. So that's why that makes this a little bit more difficult. I think these are alphabetic. Yeah, so that's really annoying. But either way, we can get a good enough idea about the patterns just from looking through the magazine portion of their site. Okay, this is the Dana. Dana makes you long for summer, but the great thing is you don't have to. If it's still chilly out, just throw on a cardigan. This romantic button-down dress with a lovely square neckline can also be short to a comfy top and long live ruffles. You can find them at the top and bottom of the bracelet sleeves and at the front and back. 
ruffles add an extra degree of comfort while retaining a lot of charm. Do they mean gathers? Wear Dana tightened at the waist with a belt or loose and easy. Fabrics are your kind of like mid-weight or lightweight but stable um, wovens. All right, here are the photos. So we've got like a little yoke here. I think this is a square neckline, which is really pretty. Two little buttons here. Then um, it's sewn into gathers, and this just creates, you know, an A-line dress. Buttons down the front, and then I'm guessing we're going to have some sleeves. Sleeve options? No, just the one sleeve maybe. The square neckline is really pretty. So they've made a self belt for this one to give some definition at the waist. And that's it for photos. I always want the line drawings on this page too. I just can see so much more within a line drawing. Um, okay, so thread interfacing, 12 buttons. And then three-ish yards for fashion fabric, three and a half. Yeah, this one just has, does this one have line drawings on it? Yes. All right, I guess we'll, we should just click through to this site every time. Um, okay, so like I said, kind of square neckline, yoke, there's facings in there, and then what does this double line mean? Is that a length and shorten line? Okay. Bust, waist, yeah, kind of a lot of undescribed <laughs> lines there. If you don't know what you're looking at, you're like, oh, what? And then here are some more of the pictures. That's the top version. Here's the back. Another view of the front. It is a really cute dress. It's hard to see, and I always say this about their photos, but when they're not just kind of standing straight, it's hard to see just how, like, wide the hem of the dress is. This sort of gives us an idea, but this is a much drapier fabric, like, a lot drapier. So hers is going to fall closer to her body than this chambray would. But this chambray, I can't really tell just how wide it is. I mean, every photo is, you know, hands on hips or the fabric turned in a certain way or her body turned in a certain way. So it kind of, you know, hides, not hides, but you just can't really see um, the full, full view of the of the dress, but I'm guessing it's, it's pretty voluminous if you don't pull it in. All right. So now let's go to Fiona. All right. A good workhorse jumpsuit is hard to find. Thankfully, Fiona guarantees you oodles of comfort as well as a gorgeous cut. Wear it casual or dressy, tighten at the waist with a tie belt, or leave it off. The back features an asymmetrical closure for a hint of playfulness. An asymmetrical closure? What is that? We went for culotte length trousers, but they can be lengthened into a longer version. Round neckline, raglan sleeves. XS to 3XL. Okay. So... All you can really tell from this photo is that they are like just above ankle length. I wouldn't even call this culottes personally, but you can see here they're just barely skimming her ankle. This version is, so they added the tie belt. So the tie belt is not separate. It's just optional. I like that. A separate tie belt that like comes off completely I don't know. I feel like I'm always losing those. They're always coming untied as I'm wearing them. It's kind of really annoying. So that's nice. This is supposed to be the asymmetrical closure. I don't really understand what that means. But here's the raglan sleeve. Very blousey. 
very glossy. Let's go back. Yeah, I can't really see much about the crotch or anything about how it fits either. Um, so rounded neckline. It looks like it's either finished with bias binding or just maybe even turned under. Raglan sleeve, the um, waistband or waist casing, and then your pants. It's pretty straightforward. I wish they would have shown us one without the waistband. I'm, this looks really long to me. Although this, if that is the waist seam, it's just too hard to tell. But it looks like that might be the waist seam. And if that's the case, the, the bodice is very, very long, which also is in line with this. You can see how blousey this is. So if you don't install the drawstring and there's nothing to hold the pants up on your body, the whole thing is going to fall down and then you're going to have a drop crotch, which is why this design as it is on her and where else did I see? I guess that was the only one, which is why this doesn't make sense to me like either it is blousey like this and you have to have the drawstring to keep the crotch line where it needs to be or it's like this where there's no blousing at all and that's that's the way that you would be able to wear it with or without the drawstring so yeah this one's giving me a lot of red flags on the fiona oh this is the picture i was talking about I'm just trying to look and see if I can see because her natural waist is way up here and this is where the casing is falling because it's such a long a long torso I mean look at this that's wild right and then we already saw that one yeah so I don't know I guess decide do I want the drawstring or not and then make the necessary adjustments. But that back draping like that, that's just kind of insane. I was also trying to see, yeah, I mean, look how much it's drooping down. Is that the way they want it to be? I don't know about that either. I was looking for the front raglan, but you can't really see it. But that's like kind of a low scoopy back. So, yeah. Uh, I'd be a little leery about Fiona. All right, next we have the Grace top. Okay, funky Grace. Let's look at this one first. Looking for a graceful addition to your wardrobe, meet Grace. Uh, a blouse with a charming cut that features a stand collar with a bow at the back and a raglan balloon sleeve with a fitted cuff. On the front, you'll find lovely pleats that extend the full length of the garment. Okay, so we've got the raglan sleeve into kind of like a, almost like a woven turtleneck. Really beautiful sleeve into that cuff. And then there's also some pleat details. It's almost like a, a pleat that opens up over the bust, which is really, really pretty. There's the bow in the back. There it is untucked. Thank you for showing that. That's another thing I look for in these photos. That's a very like interesting style. Here it is in an eyelet with kind of like a pleated skirt. Again, very distinct sort of styles, the way that these are all um, paired up with other garments and accessories and everything like that. It's pretty. I don't know how wearable it is. This seems like the most wearable, but even that for me, I mean, it's a, it's a lot of coverage all the way up to the neck. Maybe it's because like my mind is in like summertime. And so it's just hard to imagine being this covered up. Um, but I guess it is pretty. Um, XS to three XL. Let's see these photos untucked again I mean that is so so pretty the sewing and construction on that is pretty amazing here's your stand collar yeah I can't really tell is this like 
feminine? Is it not? Do you know what I mean? It kind of really toes the line there, which is kind of cool. All right, that's Grace. All right, now we have the Ayla, Ayla blouse, Ayla, Ayla. Um, a slightly oversized blouse with a collar and collar band, yoke and gathers at the back. Ayla, I'm gonna call it, is a wonderful addition to your wardrobe. Um, the shaped sleeves make this a simple project and give the blouse a playful, relaxed fit. Wear Ayla with jeans, trousers, skirt, tucked in or comfortably out is oversized not really your thing just make Ayla a size or two smaller be sure to check the size chart first to make sure there's enough wiggle room extra small to 3x and then here are our photos I mean does it button up are we looking at this okay so it looks like it has grown on sleeves and it's like a button down with like a true collar stand and collar. Here's that first skirt. So if you wanted to make the mole matching set like this, here it is unbuttoned, but it's like, I, first of all, I don't know that I think this is very oversized, especially not two sizes too big. I don't know that I would follow that instruction. Um, it's just a boxy cropped top. This is a pretty photo. You can see the hem, how it's like curved a little bit. That's kind of nice. Yeah, I would wear it untucked for sure. Sleeve might be a little bit long. It makes sense that it kind of goes up like this. That's what grown on sleeves do. Here's the line drawing. Oh, it also has a back yoke, which I missed. Well, because there's not really any photos of the back. And a little bit of gathering there. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I can I can see myself wearing this, especially. Let's see. Is this the? Where am I? Here I am. Um, especially if the fabrics are drapier. Yeah. Over the shoulders and look less voluminous. Right, it'll fall closer to your body if something's drapier, like a rayon or crepe tinsel. Or if you want a boyfriend look, choose structured fabric like chambray, poplin, linen, and cotton twill are all great options. All right. We'll look through these photos really quickly. There's this one again. Or some version of that one. All buttoned up. Okay. That's Ayla. Now we have the joy dress. Looks to be like a little knit. Casual, comfy, and still classy. The joy t-shirt dress has got us jumping for joy. It has a clean look with a handful of choice details, such as the crew neck with neck binding in trim fabric, a cord and cord stopper at the waistline, and wide raglan sleeves that you can alter to be more fitted if you prefer. Extra small to 3X. Oh, I see. They did use the actual cord stoppers. That's interesting. Gives it a more like athletic, sporty kind of vibe. Again with the super long bodice though. Like what does this show us about the garment? Her one raglan sleeve. See how they use the cord stoppers? That's really interesting. Cute. Here's the neckband that really isn't fitting very well. Also, did they even press it? They do have this little detail, which is on a lot of like sweatshirts and stuff. Again, just kind of like a little more like athletic-y. And then on this one, is there a line drawing? Yeah. So you can see the neckband, but they didn't include the neckband on this illustration. But 
you've got the little V thing here. You've got your raglan. You've got your waist elastic, which is supposed to sit at your natural waist. That's what they're telling us here. They're also not showing a lot of blousing. So I don't know. I don't understand what's happening with the these. I mean, that's not her natural waist. And like that's closer to hers, but it's just so baggy up top. And big. Like, I don't think you need this much ease up here. It's a cool look, but again, I, I don't know. I just get nervous when I see that there is this much work that needs to be done to something, you know? So now we're on to Maya. So far, this is like not looking good. Well, I guess depending on how you look at it, it looks great for my wallet and my pattern stash. <laughs> not so good for fiber mood though. Um, all right, this one is Maya. Here, let me clean out some of these. All right, Maya is a super feminine A-line dress with round neckline that hugs your body. Short sleeves and their pleat design creates volume and interest, but there are so many possibilities with, a sleeve, with these sleeves. Leave the pleat allowance on the inside for subtle volume. Feature pleat allowance on the outside for a statement sleeve. Go for a combination for a playful effect. Maya has an invisible zip at the back, lengthening and shortening this dress is a breeze. So this is a woven, I'm assuming. We've got like a set in sleeve. This is the pleats that they're talking about up here. We've also got some kind of darting or shaping happening here and then it flares out. It's quite long, midi length. I wanna see closer up of how that is finished. I guess it's just turned under maybe. So this is kind of cool. I don't know, I can't see anything in that picture. It's got the neckband, which is really nice. Oh, here's a really good picture. Oh, I thought so. Is there also a waist seam? Let's get to that line drawing already. Oh, here's a close-up of the sleeve. More fisheye darts in the back, which, you know, I do like that a lot. I just think that maybe it's a little too fitted through there. Here's some more of the sleeve. And you can see how the sleeve is finished. The sleeve is super cool. I love the sleeve. I don't know about the rest of it. Um, this just felt a little too, maybe it was that, just that one version. Cause how does, I mean, hers looks okay. Maybe they're also too high. Do, is that, I'm trying to remember if fisheye darts, look how high they go. They go up to the bust, like bust line. Is that normal? I don't know, maybe if you lowered them, it would be a little bit better. But you guys know I love a fisheye dart. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, super cool fisheye darts. But, um, and the sleeve is cool. Yeah, I don't know. I guess just none of the little versions here. Maybe I'm in a mood tonight. I don't know what it is. But yeah, you can see here how they are coming up to her bust line. It all feels a little bit, like, like, Fussy, like the whole time I'd just be like pulling on it or something. The concept is really cool though. And that, see now that version looks pretty good. Nice and comfortable and like I wouldn't be tugging on it too much. I also like it in a stripe. I don't know. It's, it's okay. Um, okay, so kids, kids, so the la this is the last one? No, there's a couple more. Okay, this is the Harmony Top. Harmony Top looks pretty cute so far. Let's take a look at it here. Ahoy mateys! <laughs> Inspired by sailor shirts, Harmony is a treat for anyone who can't get enough retro vibes. All right. Uh, sailor collar, button flap on the shoulder and short sleeves with gathers above the fitted cup. Pimp Harmony Your Way? <laughs> what? Cuff, no cuff, ruffles, or none in a mix of different fabrics, maybe even with a lace insert. Anything goes. I don't know about pimping things. Um, I I know why I like this. It's I do like a front yoke into a gather that I like that kind of style. Um 
what's the rest of the sleeve look like? It just kind of goes down into this like button cuff. Oh, and there's buttons here. Oh, look, they did two different sleeves. Oh, these pictures are just so hard to see what's going on. So what were they saying about pimping out all these different options? I only see one option. I'm so confused. Let me read that again. Button flap on the shoulder and short sleeves with gathers above the fitted cuff. Okay, got that. Pimp harmony your way. Okay, cuff, which we saw. You can leave the cuff off. Ruffles. I... I don't know where the ruffles would go. Where where would the ruffles go? Um, or none. Oh, ruffles or no ruffles. And they mix it different fabrics, maybe with the lace insert. Okay. Well, okay. The thing is about this is I have patterned like this. I mean, this one's a little bit different because this is kind of like a bib, which is certainly a lot more sailory. Um... But I do like how it fits. I do like a lot of these details that are there. So it does have a lot of good things going for it. Oh no, loose thread. Oh, this is a whole different vibe. Yeah, the lace inset's pretty, but again, I have patterns like this. So it's not really anything new. And I guess this is how you get in, which that's kind of cool because you just unbutton these. Um, instead of having anything in the back. So that's kind of interesting and different. Yeah, okay. Okay, Harmony. Now we have Vera, the Vera top. That lady knows how to model her hair. Am I right? I'll show you whenever we get back to that other link or the other tab. Good, basic, high cozy factor is a must in every wardrobe. Vera has a lovely feminine neck binding in ribbed trim fabric. The sleeve and hemline seams are finished with two parallel lines of top stitching. Roll up the sleeves for a casual look. Okay. Oh, this whole thing is rib knit? Okay, so interesting. So it's kind of, sort of, like a cowl, sort of, but it's big. I was not expecting that. There are so many rib knits that have, like, I don't know, like stripes going through them, or they're metallic. I don't know, they have something special. They're just kind of really pretty on their own. This might be a great way to highlight that. I um, mean, they rolled up her cuffs and this might just be, I just can't look away from this, but what is happening? What is that? So we're going to move on from that photo. It's just ill-fitting pants, I guess. <laughs> Lord, I don't know. Um, okay. So here's the back. Yeah, that's kind of cool. She's like mean mugging at us. Give me that side eye, Miss Thang. Yeah, so here it is. Here's the rib knit. Wraps around to the back. The rest of it is pretty straightforward. Again, I see something like this and I think, well, I could just hack a sweatshirt pattern that I have and I know that I like. I mean, it's drop shoulder, you know, there's nothing really spectacular about it. Cropped length. Um, this is the only really new and interesting thing. And I don't know that that detail is worth $8.50. But, um, that's Harmony. What I was saying about this lady and her hair. Does she not know how to, she needs to be like Pantene model. The way that she zhuzhes her hair like that. It's cool. I like the tone on tone thing that they did. I don't know if this is intended to go up this high to be like, almost like a cowl. But, I mean, it's kind of cool. Hey, look. She has one of those cool ponytail. Oh no, no, never mind. Those other ones. Have you seen those ponytail hats where there's a hole like way up here for you to do like a high pony? They're really cool. Anyways. 
All right, Vera. Oh, there's that awful picture again. Okay. Um, finally, we have Noel. Noel is the jacket. So, once you're wearing this blazer, you won't want to take it off again. We adore Noelle's strong yet gentle look. Noelle, it has a loose cut, three-quarter length sleeve, sophisticated welt pockets, and is double-breasted. For the seam finish, we keep it simple. That way, it won't be long before you're wearing your own Noelle and making the most out of spring. Extra small to 3X. The C, this is also $8.50 and like, I don't know, that sweatshirt before compared to the details of this with this notch collar and welt pockets and everything. It just feels like that other one is not really worth the money. Yeah, this is like an oversized, super cool, super chic. You can see how it's double breasted here and like where it hits whenever you button it up. Oh, that's an even better picture. Can't you just get, yeah, that just looks like just a little bit of 80s in there. You know how they had all those like drapey blazers. Um, it's just, yeah, relaxed, but cool. Cool, relaxed, sophisticated, chic. I'm getting all those vibes from this. All right, Noel, Noel might just save this release. <laughs> Yeah, I can just see this being like a really great layering piece, like especially not so much now because our temperatures are pretty consistent, but when the temperatures are like transitioning and it's cool in the morning and kind of like hotter in the afternoon, this would be a great piece to have. Definitely read up on the fabrication notes that they have on this too, because that is going to make a world of difference. But it looks like you have like a true set in sleeve, this notched collar, some kind of facing in here. Obviously, there's a facing through here somewhere. Um, your double breasted buttons and buttonholes, welt pockets. They don't have a flap, they're just like regular welt pockets. And then it's kind of, oh, wait, this says it stops at your waist. But that's not true. So this is a bust line, and I assumed that this was a waistline, but that's not right. This is your, gosh, your hip? I don't even know. This makes no sense, because it's way longer than that. You know, I don't understand that. So that illustration is just really confusing. Um, here are some more photos. Super cute like this, with a little crop top and a skirt. Oh, I love that. Sometimes it's, you know what I feel? Their styling can either be, I mean, look at that super cool micro bag around her neck like a necklace. Either their styling is like inspirational, spot on. It's like, oh my God, I can't wait to make this. Or it's just kind of like, this is not helping. <laughs> you know, it's, it's one or the other extreme. It's never really like in the middle. Okay, and that is it. That is the Fiber Mood issue 14. Is that what we said? Here is, oh, I really wanted to open those line drawings. Um, here is the actual magazine. I'm eager to hear what you guys think of the patterns. This makes me feel like it's not supposed to be that high up on your neck. I don't know. Um... I think that there are, unfortunately for me, just too many fit issues on the models. That just makes me, I mean, certainly, you know, shortening the bodice length is not that big of a deal. But if I'm going into something knowing that I'm going to have to do that to start with, then it starts to make me think about, you know, oh gosh, all the other things that I can't see. Um, if something is just that egregious out of the gate, you know what I mean? Um, and just, yeah, sort of nothing really new and different to add to my wardrobe. So 
I don't think I'll be adding any of these. Some of them are pretty cool, though. Um, maybe, like, in the future, if I'm looking for something specific, I'll come back to this. But it wasn't like the last collection where I was like, oh, my God, I have to have that. The jacket's the coolest thing that they have going. Um, so I was really glad to see that and see it styled in such a fresh way. So, but I'm eager to hear what you guys think. Let me know in the comments section below. Oh my gosh, that is a really cute picture. Uh, um, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Otherwise, I will see you all back here. First Impression Friday in two weeks because next week's First Impression Friday is being replaced by one of the days on the sew along. So, see you back here in two weeks for our next First Impression Friday. Bye, you guys.